It's my feel good breakfast show. A oh, very good morning if you have just tuned in. This is Expresso, your feel-good kickstart to the weekend in this case. Now, this morning we are joined by a very special guest. Um, obviously, this past week, Ilan Kronewald was appointed as South African Rugby's first female executive council member. And we've heard from just about every corner of the sporting and political fraternity about this incredible journey that led to her appointment, except from herself. So we are so proud to welcome Ilan into studio and say congratulations do you feel as special as the media is, is uh, touting you to be at this stage? Talk to me about yeah. this achievement. How are you feeling about it at this stage? Yes, I do. And thank you for that special introduction. Right. I, I must tell you that I'm wondering what's the awe all about. <laughs> um, I've been around the block in sport management, but I must say this announcement really informed the rest of South Africa who I am. About a week ago, I was just the quiet lady in the corner getting the job done. So it's an amazing opportunity. South African rugby has a good story to tell. You know, notwithstanding some of the challenges that we have since 1992, a lot has changed. Yeah. All sport, definitely, but a lot has changed. And the, the passion and the pride that South Africans have for, for rugby, you know, it just makes it so much better. We are winning all sorts of battles at the moment. Of course, the biggest one yet to be faced tomorrow, the box up against Ireland. New coach Alistair Kutsia seems to be settling in, even winning political battles against the ANC Youth League. What is going right for South African rugby at the moment? Why are you so proud? We, we're saying that we're ready for, for the next uh, step. Uh, it's, it's about change. Um, transformation is a big one for South Africa and, and specifically rugby, and it, it must be like that. If you had asked me this question a week ago, I probably would have given you a South African citizen viewpoint. <laughs> uh, but I will not speak about the team and Alistair, but to say that uh, my blood is green, so we're ready for tomorrow. Um, what do you think we are going to see in this first challenge? What, what idea have you been given of Alistair's? I know he's settled in nicely, but he obviously wants to prove a point tomorrow. A lot of young players. What are we expecting from that clash? Um, well, it, it, it's an indication to me that he has a lot of confidence in, a, in our young talent. Yeah. And that is what we need to do in South Africa. And what do we expect at the stadium tomorrow? A, a lot of excitement. A lot of people will be nervous. <laughs> a lot of people would want to wait for that second half to finish. So, yes, we, we're looking forward to tomorrow's match. When we talk about the representation of women's rugby at the moment, we've seen the sporting code make huge strides. Maybe South Africa lagging a little bit behind. Do you think your appointment is going to move women's rugby specifically forward in the way that it has to? I hope so. I, I can already feel the pressure, but uh, I'm committed to that course. <laughs> Sorry to add to that, but there is expectation. <laughs> no, yeah. absolutely. And, and it's correct, the correct expectation. I am the only woman serving at that level, so it cannot be otherwise. If we look at the South African landscape and in terms of women's rugby, less than 50% of the unions offer uh, rugby opportunities from under six right through up until under 16. Um, and there are various reasons why they don't do it. Then there's about 20% who do offer opportunities from under six onwards. And it's Dutch rugby, uh, tag rugby, different forms of rugby, that's sevens rugby. Level, yeah. But the one, the one important and I think successful competition that's been managed by South African Rugby Union is the under 16 women's uh, girls tournament that happens every year. And the good news is that m most of the provinces compete at that level. So it shows that um, there is, there's definitely interest, but we need to do more in terms of the, 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 the younger age groups. And then ultimately we need to understand how many of the kids out there really want to play rugby. The and girls, how many really want to play? I never played rugby, <laughs> never. I played rugby during my initiation when I was a student because I was forced to. <laughs> so yes, um, <clears throat> it's important that we understand the landscape. Um, and I love that, they, that your future leadership roles now very evident, available in Sorry, Congratulations, Ilam. Awesome to connect with you. Um, and good luck, I think, like the rest of us, we will be <laughs> sitting our hands tomorrow in anticipation. It's going to be a fantastic, fantastic first test. Thank Alistair you. Kutubert, congratulations Absolutely. on your appointment. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Oh, awesome to have Ilam Kronewald in studio this morning. Time now, though, to get back into our national news.